Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Exodia, aka. Actually, I need to be careful here because neither player is using their actual name. Exodia, uh, aka Ninja, and I believe Terran Low is Locosito. Upper left hand corner. Blue Terran and Red Terran, respectively. I should have checked the map beforehand as well. It looks like this is going to be on Circuit Breaker. Pretty strong map for that three factory vulture opener. Two very strong player uh, Terran opponents here. So we got at least a guaranteed Terran into the round of four, which I like seeing. Unfortunately, it would have been... It, it, I will say there is a glut of Protoss in Hasu League. And I, I know that there will be comments as far as the, re, the you know Protoss OP, all that sort of thing. But I like seeing a mixture. I like seeing Protoss and Zerg advance so it just doesn't end up being a, a rote pvp finals although out of all of the hasu league casts i think trying to think if the majority of the hasu league champions have been terran which might be a marking of something as well but anyway fewer zerg victors overall uh both these guys strong both of these guys capable of creative play uh also capable of macro play i'm not sure having looked at the round of 32 up to this stage that I'm going to favor one over the other. I might favor Locosito a little bit, mostly because I feel like his play has been a little bit sharper. But it's not such that I think Ninja is incapable of taking it here. Early game, might, honestly, I think what this match is going to come down to on Circuit Breaker is potentially just heads up Vulture versus Vulture play. And who has the better small game micro? To engage their opponent. It is possible we could see some... I mean, this is Terran versus Terran. We could see some variation, but honestly, I see a map like Circuit Breaker. I feel like it's a huge risk to not go that three vulture opener or the three factory vulture opener. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not a Terran player myself, so I would love to hear comments actually from the Terran players out there in that regard. And I, I also feel like it's a little bit stronger because... mostly because of the third where the vultures can go and harass fairly easily. So even if you don't get initial, ooh, first scout, by the way, from Ninja into his opponent, Supply Depot being hidden to the corner, and that could throw his opponent off where, it, so it looks, let's see if he goes up and finds the first Supply Depot, doesn't see the second, which would give a stronger indicator that this was in fact more of an aggressive factory opener, factory being built that resources were being preserved. I also kind of like that in the corner just to deal with the uh, dropship play down the line. Unfortunately for Locosito, it's going to take a while before he gets to his opponent's base. And by the time he does, I don't think he's going to have the option of getting really any relevant information. We do have a single SCV on gas for both players. So it looks like they do want to, at the very least, rather than just going straight factory flood, get that expansion solidified. Two Marines have been produced for Locosito, which means he's going to be a little bit behind in the factory races versus just the one. Also, that Barracks was in a much better position. I'm actually surprised that the Barracks was produced here and not floated to the right and that the SCV Scouts, because usually what I expect is if the SCV Scouts going bottom first, the Barracks is built more to the right and lifted off that direction. I'm wondering if that's uh, if that was a miscalculation on Locosito's part or just maybe tournament nerves, something along those, just a small thing. Initial Vulture being constructed both sides. Initial Command Center is being built as well. The SV able to confirm the Command Center is going to try to flee. The Vulture not going to pursue. Two Marines on the front. Going to blockade. Third Vulture still just a single SCV in gas right this second. The SCV have been plopped back on gas, however, for Ninja. So he is going to have more gas to follow it up to get either more factories or potentially to make his way up to more tech. Lifting off the initial factory, which suggests we're going to see a machine shop. Sometimes kind of an accidental thing. We do have the machine shop opposite side. Ninja also going to be able to get a much earlier barracks scout off that first marine and barracks lift off. So going to be able to confirm that it is going to be three factories with the opener. And he's also going to be able to see the whirling on the machine shop, although he's not going to know whether it was speed or mines. That is going to be the mine upgrade to start rather than speed. So Locosito hoping to play more positional advantage, get the mines placed, get some vision so he knows where his opponent's troops are coming from. 
Initial barracks making its way out. Looks like the Marine not going to assault. Vulture already positioned forward to engage that bridge. SCV nearby. Looks like it's going to be the speed upgrade for Ninja, so he wants to play it more aggressively. Could be anyone's game. Effectively, Locosito's hoping that more of a defensive stance will be the key to victory here. He's already stacking up vultures along his side of the bridge. Trying to move them out of vision. Once he has speed, he can start flooding the troops across the map, and it can be very difficult to deal with troops. A couple mines being placed out in the forward field to keep eyes. Now, yeah, this becomes the challenge now is defending both the natural at the bridges and across nearby the route from the third and being able to get a solid wall so they can't just walk in. That barracks, good job on Locosito's part to get that barracks in the red versus this barracks, which should be fine. Ninja with a bit of a supply lead, also in workers, and that looks like it's just going to be an SCV. Some mines have been planted on his side of the map as well. Moving forward with the vultures looking to shoot the gap is going to end up in a disadvantageous initial engage, so losing that first vulture. So, at least in the initial, Locosito able to have superior defense. He's going to walk out and confirm that it's just three factories instead of four mines, and also is going to be able to... He's already confirmed speed. With the machine shop, might be able to confirm things further, and that mine is doing a lot of work. Seeing the additional vultures gathering up, and actually... It would be insane, but I would love to see Locosito take advantage of this little spot of vision. I'm not sure how he could do it, though, with the, the bridge blockading. Barracks actually landing to make it a little bit more challenging for troops to get their way across. Engagement now over that high ground after some mines have been dropped in between. It looks like with the closer reinforcement point and some better focus fire... Locosito are going to have a much better exchange. And now he has some vulture. Oh, never mind. Three vultures able to sneak into the natural. So that is going to force the reinforcements. Also, a mine able to get placed on the front, which is also going to provide some critical scouting. Disrupted mining. Huge worker lead now for Ninja. And that's sometimes all it takes. How did that mine get taken out? The lack of vision. But the vulture is now streaming across. There needs to be some sort of blockade. Now, if there isn't the blockade now, those vultures are going to be able to do some counter damage. Now pushing, and the SCV's pulling off the line to defend them for their lives. This could be the difference in the match right here. SCV's trying to push back, and very quickly, the SCV losses, putting things back in Locosito's favor. Plus, he has plenty of vultures remaining to assault the exterior infrastructure. And that's going to cost some additional resources with the reinforcement might be able to end the game here. And sometimes that's all it takes. A little bit of those micro wins. And again, better concentrated fire on Locosito's side. So the Vulture is getting wiped out in larger numbers. There's GG from Ninja. Locosito winning convincingly in game one. Just beautiful concentrated fire in all of the engagements with his Vultures. Also, I want to give a nod to the hero mines really out to the corner where providing that spot to know the engagement point to the north so locosito with the first win hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give a like and subscribe i appreciate your viewership thank you for listening